ground was completely forgotten uh, and in spite of uh, the fact that half of our water, right, drinking water comes from groundwater and almost half of our irrigation water comes from groundwater. We now overuse it with 20%. So these are major issues and the day of reckoning will come. It's already coming in some parts of the world. Groundwater was always our buffer, you know, our inbuilt security. But that buffer is also disappearing. Yeah? And that buffer also has a big impact on the microclimate, on the soil fertility. Sometimes we forget these things because we don't see it. So we don't understand how important it is, A, for our survival, and B, for how landscapes work in this planet. We've done the same in Europe. I mean, we've polluted all our shallow aquifers for decades, yeah, without anybody blinking an eye. So I think this is a pattern that you see repeated uh, times and times again. The research looked at two things, the political system, how this influences the use of groundwater, the management or lack of management, and secondly, what happens at local level, what, how are people working uh, around this issue. So Yemen, I think, is um, a prime example. It's one of the most water scarce uh, countries in the world. What we found in Yemen is that we talk a lot about scarcity, we talk about conflict, but there's a lot of arrangements locally where people somehow get together and regulate the behavior between them. We documented it uh, with videos and, and in Arab language, and we organized roadshows. The aim of the roadshows was to get people to talk about you know, the issues in their area and see that other areas were doing well, and then they could also follow that path. And it was farmers to farmers, you know, and they talked their own language. So we exchanged the uh, experience between the areas with a good practice in the areas where there was nothing. We also analyzed the politics eh? and what we found that the uh, government in Yemen has very small capacity to act and no priority in this field. The story is different in Ethiopia. In Ethiopia the government has uh, a lot of muscle, yeah? it can do things. So in Ethiopia the process was very different. We made it a collaborative effort to make the, fo the government focus on groundwater management which they were not doing before. One really big lesson for us was to understand how politics work at local level. Yeah? What works, what doesn't work, who can help you, who not. And also you have to see how you can fit in with it as a researcher. It's really important, you know. And I think this is really interesting because if you take an outside position, it's not going to work. Yeah? So where is your match with those political leaders? So you have to understand what the politics are before you can get to that stage before you understand what are the interventions that really matter. This research is really, was really important and really relevant because groundwater is forgotten. With this research you can sort of break that uh, bad spell and you can act, yeah? you can encourage people to act, uh, you can uh, put it on the agenda and you can bring people together.